Well, I'm here at the Rio Republica, uh, here for seven total nights. This is my last day. I think I got a pretty solid idea of what this resort is all about. So I figure I'd give you a little bit of a tour from front to back, starting here at the lobby. Now, they consider this a five-star resort. I don't know if I'd go that far. I would say three to four tops. Um, but I've had a lot of fun here. And like I said, I got a pretty good idea of what's going on at this resort and I'll give you guys a little bit of a tour. Now, this is the front entry where you're getting dropped off. This is where you're gonna check in. If you want some words of advice, the Ryu app, uh, by downloading the Rio app, trust me, you can pre-check in. It makes it quicker. And matter of fact, if you do, times or not, they have a special desk here for web check-in. And it does make it a lot easier. Um, south here, from what the lobby looks like. Now, if you take a right or go north, that's going towards the beach. I'm actually going to go south here and show you the southernmost part of the resort. I'm recording this on the new Galaxy S23 Ultra. Um, this is being recorded in 4K, 30 frames per second, so make sure you're clicking on that 4K if you want the utmost resolution on this. And all my B-roll will be done on my old uh, Galaxy S10 Plus. I didn't want to drag that through the resort for seven days and get it full of sand and potentially stolen or lost. But on my last day here, I figured I would give you guys a little bit of a tour with the new Galaxy S23 Ultra. Now you can see they got the workout room here. And this is the most southern part of the resort, or the, I would say the front side of the resort, however you want to look at it. They got a bit of a volleyball court there. So I want a water volleyball, or if you just want to chill and relax. And I will splice in a map of the resort here so you get an idea of where I'm located. So this is the, I would say, the quiet walk-up bar swimming pool. It's a Ona, or however you want to pronounce it. Um, more of a chill, more adult, non-teenager, <laughs> safe to say, uh, pool. And right behind this swim-up bar, is the smaller theater, which I will splice in some pictures of this th theater here. I would say it's more of a more intimate uh, atmosphere for theater and live shows. I actually prefer this more than the larger theater. Um, but at night, it's really nice here. It's got a nice ambiance. It's really chill, uh, especially if you want to get away from more teenage crowd. Um, and what I've noticed, at least with these bars here, is they don't really have to any top shelf alcohol. Uh, it's more basic. They do have some top shelf, like Smirnoff, Jim Beam, but that's about it. Uh, otherwise, it's pretty much going to be some lower quality liquor. Now, just south of this is the Mangu Buffet. And it's considered their smaller buffet. Uh, it's more, I think, located here for people staying at the southernmost part of the resort and it's definitely the smaller buffet we're on, located in the northern part of the resort so we go to the larger buffet but if you're at the southern part of the resort 
At least you can get some food right away rather than walking clear to the north side of the resort itself. All right, so just kind of circling back around here, like I said, most buffet area if you're on the southern part of the resort, so you don't have to go clear the northern side buffet. Um, like I said, here's that water volleyball pool. More adult friendly, <laughs> which you're gonna see here later on the north side. They got some pretty crazy uh, party pools. It's definitely considered a party resort without a doubt but you can also say this is what you make of it kind of resort there's definitely areas in the resort where you can get away from the craziness and i'm about to show that to you here later so here to my right is the pool with the water slides So if you're a kid at heart, you can definitely come here and have some fun in the water slides and tubes. I personally didn't partake in the water slides. Uh, we we're too busy chilling out. They do look like a lot of fun here. And then right to the side of this is more of a chill, very quiet pool. If you really, really want to get away from things, uh, this is, I would say is more of an adult oriented pool here just to the side of the water slides. All right, so we just kind of circled around here. This is where we just came from, from the lobby. So I'm gonna take a left down here. They got somewhat of a walk bridge, kind of a cool walk bridge with glass railing. Now I'm gonna forewarn you about this walk bridge. It's got a little bit of a creek here, but it does smell like sewage. So my, my other half, every time she would walk, walk over this bridge, you'd have to plug your nose. It, it, it can be pretty bad at night. So there's areas in the resort that do smell like sewage. I don't know if that's kind of a Dominican Republic thing. I am not totally sure. Um, but there's definitely areas that kind of smell like sewage. And I know when I stayed at the Ocean Blue and Sand, some areas kind of had that same smell. So I think it's just more of a Dominican Republic thing. They don't have the infrastructure to, I don't know, get rid of that sewage and get rid of that smell. But I'm just being honest with you. Um, as we just walked over the bridge, there's this uh, Macchio bar, really, really chill bar. I really enjoyed this bar, especially at night. I was splicing some of my B-roll footage from my S10 Plus. But at night, man, they got a nice glow coming off these lamps. It just looks really cool, really chill, really relaxed. And to the side of this bar is more, I would say, you know, more intimate, smaller restaurant dining. Uh, we didn't stop at the Olay here. This is more of a, a Spanish restaurant, but I will splice in some of the footage of this at night when they are open. Uh, last night we did came uh, did come to this what they call culinarium restaurant. It was pretty good. I mean, it wasn't bad. Uh, I did enjoy the food. Um, but there's other restaurants such as the Asian restaurant. As a matter of fact, I even prefer the buffet over this restaurant uh, in comparison to this. But we decided to try it out and they had a really nice lobster dinner with, with some good sides. Now, this is the Indian restaurant here. Uh, from all the res reviews I've read about this Indian restaurant, it's not the best. And we decided not to try that restaurant just based on the reviews. And we're just not huge fans of uh, Indian food. But um, if you want that option, it's there. But to be honest with you, the buffet here, which I'm going to show to you here later, is pretty darn good. Um, especially how inexpensive we got this off of Expedia. Uh, round trip, round flights, uh, nonstop uh, for seven nights for a little less than three grand. That's not too bad. All right, circling back around to the lobby here, just to give you guys an idea. Now we're heading north towards the beach. So I think with this resort, you really got to take it with a grain of salt, especially for the price that you're paying. It's not like you're staying at the Excellence 
which I would consider is a true five-star resort. You know, probably for a couple to stay there, it'd be five to six grand in comparison to the three grand I paid here for seven nights. Um, now coming on to the other lobby, we're right off the area from where you check in. Just kind of a cool place here. We can kind of chill, relax. I got a nice bar here. I'll splice in some footage at night. Uh, but a really nice atmosphere. Kind of a really modern look you can see in the back there. It kind of gives me that uh, feeling of the late 90s, with trying to get that modern look. I would say it's a little bit dated. I had a really, really good time. All right, so we're gonna double back here later. That's where the convenience store is. I'll give you an idea on some of the prices if you don't bring your own sunscreen, but I'm just gonna circle around here and kind of show you what's in the back. All right, so here's the sports bar. This is open 24 hours. Uh, when the buffet is shut down, you need a place to eat, get a drink. This is the place to go. And I will splice in some of the footage, but they got pool tables over there, foosball tables. And here is the nightclub, which I believe opens up at 11. Pretty fun, not a huge nightclub, but it is there if you want to get your groove on. Um, back here is the spa. If you want to get a massage, um, we didn't do this, but just to kind of give you an idea on the prices. So if that's your thing, that is definitely available. So you can kind of see we just made a circular loop. So here's a Rio Republica info desk. You get any additional information. And right around the corner is the convenience store. And you can try and bring your own sunscreen. We actually bought, um, what was it, eight bottles Oh, three ounce sunscreen so we don't have to buy here because it is expensive. So just to give you an idea here of how much this is. Yeah, $47, not exactly giving that away. So, but they do have uh, your sunscreen here. And they have other products in case you need it. Other mementos you want to take home, hats, you name it, they got it. Um, but like I said, when it comes to stuff like sunscreen, you're definitely going to want to bring your own because it is very, very expensive here. Now this is where we're starting to get into the restaurants. Um, I'm going to go over this here in a little bit, but I'm going to sidetrack here off to the left. And this is where the main theater is with seating in front. And this is pretty cool. I, I enjoyed this. I have a bar off to the left here. I'll show that here in a little bit. Um, but this is the main stage. And to be honest with you, I actually preferred the smaller stage. It was more of an intimate atmosphere. Um, this was nice and the shows were okay. It seems like they're mostly based around every other Dominican resort um, based on Mike, Michael Jackson. Um, but they, they had some pretty cool shows here, but I actually preferred the other um stage here where they have actually more of a interactive atmosphere but at night when this is all lit, lit up and everyone is sitting here and i'll splice in some of that footage off my other camera it was really really cool At night, when this is all lit up and everyone is having their cocktails, 
waiting for the show. This is a lot of fun. This is probably one of our favorite bars to be at night. Now over here is all the restaurants with the buffet at the very end. Um, this is the Italian restaurant. We didn't actually eat there. I mean, to be honest with you, the food at the buffet just looked better than the Italian restaurant, so we just didn't go there. I'm gonna sketch up over these bushes here. Ugh. This is the Culinarium East, which is closed. They're actually using the southern side. And this is one of our favorites here at the resort, which was the Asian restaurant. Um, the, the food is really good. I would say it was better than the buffet. I will splice in some pictures of, of this when we're here at night. We really enjoyed the seaweed salad and the sushi was pretty good. Uh, we really, really liked the chicken and steak skewers that they had. Um, it's personally mine and my other half's favorite here at the resort, above and beyond just the buffet, which is actually pretty good. I'll show that to you here in a little bit. Now off to the side here is the seating for the buffet. There's no issues eating at the buffet whatsoever and this is the indoor seating and down here is the outdoor seating now this is the outdoor seating area of the buffet itself uh, this is typically where we are at in the morning and for lunch uh, when we were at the asian restaurant down here is the steakhouse i'll show that to you here in a little bit uh, but they got this closed down. I was splicing some of my video footage and pictures, but they shut this down roughly around 12 o'clock, shut down the breakfast, and then they open back up for lunch. And then after that, they shut it back down and then open it back up for dinner. Uh, but I'll splice in those pictures here to give you an idea of what this uh, buffet looks like on my B-roll. But yeah, it's just a nice atmosphere here. Sitting out, gives you a really outdoor feeling. And here is the steak restaurant. So I highly recommend the steak restaurant. Definitely make it one of your trips here while you're at the resort. It's definitely not, it's definitely not Texas Roadhouse. So keep that in mind. You gotta remember, you're at the Dominican Republic. Uh, you're not in Wisconsin, Texas Roadhouse type of amazingness. So. So I ordered my steak medium, and it's not bad. It's actually done pretty good. And it was it was pretty good. I would say it was my second favorite here in comparison to the Asian uh, restaurant, but not too bad for the Dominican Republic. Now, when that buffet is shut down, they do have a little snack buffet here in between the buffets, the main buffet shutting down, which which has pizza, hot dogs. I highly recommend. Do not 
do not do not get the burgers they're not really a burger they're more like a sausage patty <laughs> but one of my favorites here was the breaded wings the breaded wings are amazing so you definitely got to try that out along with the hush puppies and the fish it's really good they, you can make a salad they got some fruit over here you can get your drink while that main buffet is shut down. um but i was really really pleased with the buffet um for the a very inexpensive resort you know i would say the quality was above average and we had no complaints on the buffet So it's just kind of recap on this. That's where the lobby is. That's where we just came from. That's all the restaurants, the main buffet. And then just north of that is the pools. Now this is definitely where the party starts, especially with this pool off to the right. Uh, definitely gonna have more of a teenager crowd on the right. We didn't spend really any time over here. I'm 48, I'm too old for that crap. But if you do want to party it up, you want to get your drink on, especially some people are getting their twerk on in here too. <laughs> that would definitely be the pool for you. It's just not me and I can't guarantee uh, there's nothing more than just pee in that pool. I'm not exaggerating. But if you want the party pool, this is the pool for you. And it's hard to get a drink here. Usually, if we did come to this pool, we went to a different bar, loaded up our mugs, and came back because it's pretty hard to get a drink here. You can see they got quite a few people here trying to fill up your drinks and tumblers, but this is definitely where the party's at. <laughs> Now they usually have a DJ here, they do uh, have some shows, I'll splice in uh, some of that B-roll footage to give you an idea of some of the, those parties they have going on here. Uh, but like I said, if you want quietness, this is not the pool for you. And this is what's considered the Akumar party pool, I would guess. What I like to call the tweaker pool. <laughs> There's definitely a lot of tweaking going on in this, this pool. Now out from the tweaker pool, or the party pool like I used to go, this is probably a more chill, relaxed pool. Uh, much larger, much larger pool to swim in. Uh, we didn't stay here really that much because you could still hear the music from the party pool. Uh, but if you wanna not be completely drowned out by the music, uh, have a little fun, this is kind of the in-between pool. And over here, I'll show this other pool bar area that's very quiet more relaxed more for an adult atmosphere uh, but if you want a little blend of the two this is definitely going to be the pool for you now before i go over here and show you this bar area i'm going to show you this jerk chicken station now we're getting really close to the beach here um, but we actually really really enjoyed this jerk chicken the jerk chicken is absolutely amazing probably the best food on the resort and you can kind of get an idea here. You can just kind of help yourself, I think, maybe, or maybe not. But you can see him over here, and he's cutting this up for you. You gotta, gotta try this jerk chicken. Yeah, absolutely phenomenal chicken. You gotta, gotta try it out. And they have sauces here. If you wanna make a hot dog, you put all the fixings on there. Now, this whole strip right here, right above the pools, is kind of like a mediary between the beach and the pools. If you want to have a little bit of the party atmosphere but enjoy the beach, you can do that in this little strip. You can see there's some guys over here playing some volleyball. 
And over there is the, I believe, the Ocean Center. If you want to book something like an excursion, to, I think it's Sanoa Island is what they call. Highly recommend that excursion. Uh, that's where you make that uh, booking. Which let me see if I can focus in on that. This building right there. So. All right. So being that I am 48 years old and I'm definitely not a tweaker or partier. We're here to relax and enjoy ourselves. We really didn't spend much time here at the party pool. We really didn't spend much time here at the mediary pool. We spent all of our time over here. Now this is more our vibe. It's more chill, definitely relaxed. They got really good music. You can somewhat hear the music from over here, but it's not too bad. Uh, especially when you're in the pool here at the swim up bar. This is the La Ola. If you want more relaxed adult atmosphere, this is the place I would recommend. They got a pool here large enough to swim in and the swim up bar. So at this point, I really can't hear the music from the party pool anymore. This music kind of drowns out. Uh, but if you want a really chill, relaxed area, this is the place to go. If you want one of the best guys here at the resort, this is the man himself. He gets it done. And I appreciate everything you've done. You have me, I love my job. Oh, he is amazing. And check, you gotta stop at this bar, talk to Carlos. He will definitely hook you up. Now this is where we spent most of our time. Most of our time was spent here at this bar. It's just got a nice vibe, it's chill, it's relaxed. And what's even better than that is the bathrooms. I don't think really many people know about the bathrooms in the back area of the resort here. And they're rarely ever used. And there's bathrooms here. And there's a shower station here. And we spent damn near every day here as a more relaxed, enjoyable area of the resort for those that are over the age of 21. <laughs> so like I said, there's this mediary beach here that's between the pools and the beach itself. Nice, chill, relaxed area. You can get pretty hot in here though. There's not much uh, breeze coming through here. But typically what we were doing is going between the beach and this pool area. And highly, highly recommend this if you're over the age of 21. <laughs> now here's another really chill bar. What was nice about this is we would usually stay at in the beach down here somewhere, really close to this bar. You come up, fill up your tumbler with a, your favorite beverage, go back to the beach, and then when we're done there, we could come down here, the more, more relaxed area of Rio Republica. And like I said, this place, I think, is really for everyone. If you want the party, you can have the party. If you don't, you can come to more relaxed areas of the resort like this, and it's definitely possible. So we got some nice seating here. Not hard to get a beverage whatsoever. And right around here are bathrooms, really close to the beach, which is really nice. You don't have to walk clear to the other side of the resort. Now the thing about this is there are vendors on the beach. You know, they're not too, I would say they're obnoxious, uh, but there's definitely vendors here asking you to buy products. And usually if you just avoid them, it's not an issue. Those products here on the beach. Down there is the Hard Rock Resort. And this beach is absolutely stunning. Probably one of the best beaches here in Punta Cana, in my opinion. It is absolutely gorgeous. And hopefully you guys can hear me okay with the wind. So that's where we just came from. Fill up your beverage right away. And this is typically where we would try and see. So not far from the bathroom. It's not far to get your beverage filled up. Now I highly recommend buying your own towels and bringing them with you. We got these off Amazon. They're a microfiber tower, towel. I believe they're 40 inches by 70 inches long. Easily covers up these uh benches to sit on and don't forget your clips here matter of fact i'll put links in the description box below 
so you can check out these products and they're very portable easy to bring with you um, also recommend is getting a security pouch I'll put a link for this in the description also um, but it's, it's got a padlock on it this fabric is a special fabric that's hard to cut through uh, with a knife and what was nice about this is we didn't have to be so concerned about leaving our stuff here at the beach uh, recommend doing that to make sure that your uh, cell phones whatever cash doesn't get stolen you know we forgot our tumblers uh, we had all intentions to bring our tumblers but these uh, tumblers that we had to purchase here I guess it would end up being a nice memento uh, it was $20 a piece so they're not exactly given away but they're not really that ex uh, expensive either but you can see this beach is absolutely gorgeous see some of the vendors here like I said they're not too bad um, oh look out vendor 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 vendors at the end and they they do a pretty good job of leaving you alone if they notice that you're just trying to chill they're not overly annoying but they are definitely here So hopefully this uh, audio is coming through on this wind. Every day, literally every single day, we were here. It was absolutely gorgeous. All seven days, not a cloud in the sky, 82 degrees. And what's nice about the beach is there's a nice breeze on the beach. In comparison to the pools, there was hardly any breeze there at all. It was really refreshing to actually come on the beach all day. With that breeze, even at 82 degrees, nothing but sun, you didn't feel like you were getting scorched at that. It's one of the nice things here about uh, the Dominican Republic and Punta Canta. And the Rio Republic uh, definitely has a premier beach. It's probably one of the best beaches. We walked all the way down there. We walked this way. I would say they probably have one of the best stretches of beach here at the Dominican. Now walking this way is going back to the pools and we're gonna go past that jerk chicken stand. So you can see we're back to the jerk chicken stand. That's pretty much the extent of the entire resort. Now let me take you back to the rooms. At least our room, I'm going to be honest with you, was pretty disappointed. Uh, but let me skip through all this walking and take you directly to my room. So when we first got here, they tried to locate us way south or the front of the resort, which I'm sure they seen our age and they realized they probably want to be in a quiet area of the resort, but we wanted to be at the beach all the time. And we asked to get relocated and they have no issues re relocating our room when we first got here, when we first checked in from the very front to this area, which is closer to the pools and the beach. Um, and it's it's either you get close to the beach and you have to walk as far you might have to put with some more noise or you're located towards the front of the resort the southernmost part and it's a lot more quiet but you're gonna have to walk a heck of a lot more now when we first got here and we're located at no joke on the on the floor you know, these rooms are starting out at zero, one, four, two, for example. Um, 
They do have an elevator here, which is nice. You don't have to walk all those flights of stairs. So lower level, first, second, third, they even have one above that. Thank God we're not up that high. But being that this elevator is here, it really does help. Now when we first got here, this elevator was broken for the first two, I think two or three days. And at first we're like, man, this elevator is broken. Do we want to stay here? But with the amount of alcohol, and food that we're drinking, especially right out of the gate, walking stairs and getting a little bit of exercise was a welcome treat, to be honest with you. Um, but they, they do a really good job of cleaning these rooms. And matter of fact, I don't know if they're cleaning my room right now, but we're located at 3153. Hello. Oh, sorry. It's okay. I was just doing a video review here quick, but um, yeah, just kind of give you an idea here of our room. You can see they're cleaning our room as we speak, but I'll splice in some of the B-roll footage so you can check this out. Well, apparently if you uh, give them a tip, they put a little towel swan in your bathroom. <laughs> Isn't that cool? That's cute. That's pretty neat. I love it. Um, would you happen to have a couple extra of these? Yeah, okay. that'd be great. Appreciate it, thank you. But I'll splice in some of that B-roll footage of our room. Now, one side of our trip, our room. The room was okay. It's definitely not five-star rated. I would say three to four cops. But one of the main issues we had is the water shutting off here and there. When we first got here on the second night, the water stopped for about five minutes and then came back on for some weird reason. And then the fourth night, the water, when we got home, was completely shut off. And I'll, I'll splice in some of that footage right now. Absolutely nothing. You know, and that's, that's kind of disappointing. You, you spend that much money and you're hoping to get a quality experience, which, you know, that's why I wouldn't really classify this as a five-star resort, three to four tops. Um, and, but they do a good job of keeping the rooms clean and it's pretty quiet at night. I think regardless, no matter where you stay in the morning, you're gonna get those people banging those doors. That's just gonna happen in those resorts. Um, but if, if I was to make a recommendation, especially if you're older, you want something a little bit more quiet, I'd try to uh, get a, your room located on this side of the resort, more towards the quiet area of the pool and the beach. I'll splice in a picture of the map where I think you should stay. You want to be close to the beach, closer to the quiet pool, um, and not be by the party pool and the entertainment area. I'd highly, highly recommend doing that if you're going to stay here at Rio Republica. So yeah, thank God they got that elevator fixed. I don't know if we need to burn off that much alcohol and food when we first got here, but um, I guess one of the other complaints of our room, especially when the water wasn't working, is there was just air coming out of the faucets and there was a, it's like a sewage smell coming out of the faucets and I'm like, man, this is ridiculous. You spend this much money and you shouldn't, this shouldn't be happening. But uh, with that Rio app, I did put in a request to get our water checked out. And I did complain about the sewage smell. And it was fixed by the morning. And, you know, like I said, this, this is an excellence. You're not spending five to six grand for a couple. Uh, we spent a little under three grand. And it is what it is. Um, like I said, if you want to make this a party resort, you can. If you also want to make it a quiet, more chill, relaxed resort, you can do that too. So if you want my recommendation, if you are coming here, if you want to stay, stay away from the party atmosphere and get more towards the quiet area of the pool and beach, I would recommend, and I'll splice in a map here of where I would recommend staying so you're not walking clear from the other side of the resort to go to the beach. 
This is where we stayed on the, not the lower, not the second, not the third, but on the fourth. Thank God they got that elevator fixed so we wouldn't stay there. Recommends trying to get on at least on the first or second level if they can request that. But if I could stay anywhere at the resort, I would try and stay in this area if you could. Uh, I'll splice in a, a, a map of the resort, give you an idea where this is located, especially if you're over uh, 25, 30 years old and want more of a quiet atmosphere, a quiet pool, quiet beach like I showed you guys, staying away from the party over here. This is where I would recommend staying if you can request to be relocated. Uh, but you can see here, the resort is very beautiful. Palm trees everywhere. Every single day we were here, all seven days, it was absolutely and it's definitely a resort of how you make it if you want the party you can have the party if you want the quietness you can have the quietness the shows at night were pretty good the entertainment was not bad uh, i recommend the smaller stage rather than the larger stage more of an interactive atmosphere bars littered everywhere no issues getting anything to drink definitely no issues getting anything to eat uh, don't expect top shelf liquor. They just don't have it here. About the best you're gonna see here is Smirnoff and Jim Bean for pure example. And that's about it. Uh, and even some places, uh, some of the bars, they were out of Smirnoff quite a bit. Um, it is what it is. And for three grand, for two people, seven nights, it wasn't too bad for, you know, round trip, nonstop uh, excursion for us. So I do, I did, really did enjoy this, the down, the negative downfalls of this resort in my opinion was the room um, and the upside the positives would would definitely be the quiet atmosphere over here if you want to get away from the party a full review and tour of Rio Republica and if you did enjoy this got something out of this make sure to subscribe like and share it definitely helps out this new channel of mine and I will see you guys in the next video